要不要来台湾玩？ Which means, do you want to come to Taiwan to play? Yes, we will get to my nan's answer to that question at some point in the video, as well as the answers to many questions my Instagram followers recently asked me to ask her. I haven't got Facebook, Twittering, or Googly, or whatever it's all called. So, talking of Instagram, the first question was kind of important. Have you ever heard of Instagram? I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Instagram is like where you share photos, but you can also send messages to people and comment on their photos. So today, I put a question on my Instagram asking, does anybody have any questions for my grandmother? So I've got some questions for you about your life. We'll get into those, okay? Any topics that are off limits? Nothing's off limits. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so the first question, I can't, I think it's from Graham 19 As a 90 year old lady, what is your key or secret to good health? Firstly, it's in the genes, mm -hmm. because a lot of my uh, uncles and aunties, they lived to, to be very old, mm -hmm. and it's uh, not because you, you're a certain age, you give up on life because mm -hmm. you've got to slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I've slowed down walking to the shops, mm -hmm. but I think to, to live your life as, as much as you can, as you did when you were younger. Mm -hmm. I miss my, my husband very, very, very much, very much. But I have friends yeah. to compensate. Yeah. You know, try to live as a young person. Yeah. I know um, health, I have health issues, mm -hmm. but I don't talk about them. Yeah. Don't talk about what's wrong with you. <laughs> okay, this one's in Chinese. I'll read it in Chinese first and then I'll translate for you, okay? It says, which means, do you, want to, do you want to come to Taiwan to play, to visit? Can't visit 20 years ago or 30 years ago, you and granddad? Yes, I think the Ta Taiwanese people seem very, very friendly because I used to correspond with um, a, 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 a Taiwanese. Taiwanese person, yeah. But in, in a perfect world, you'd come back with me on Monday, right? In a perfect world, I'd still go all around the world. I've been very lucky, I've been all around the world. Yeah. You went to Hong Kong and Singapore, so you've been oh, to Asia. Hong, yes. Yeah. Tell me about your favourite childhood memory. Can you remember that far back? I prefer not to talk about my childhood. I was evacuated, not very good. My life began when I met my husband, your granddad. Well, someone did ask, your romance. That's, that's all it my says. My romance? Yeah, so that, I guess that's oh, your, your romantic a, story. Do you, do you want a photograph of your granddad? He was a beautiful man. Yeah, let's get, let's get my granddad's photo. In, in the hall, darling. Yeah. He, he was a naval officer. Yeah. And I fell in straight away. Yeah. Beautiful man. So there's my granddad. Like a film star. Do you see do you see any of uh granddad in me? <laughs> Sorry, darling, no. <laughs> I'm being truthful. That's good, truthful is the best. And look at this. Look at me, Nan with my granddad on their wedding day. So what year was the wedding day, Nan? Nineteen fifty-three. Oh the same as the same as the Queen's coronation? Yeah. The same? Even when he was 80, 80 years old, still... Handsome. 83, we were still very handsome. Yeah. Can you remember your first date or the oh, first date? Oh, yes. Day? New Brighton. Yeah. And I was with a girlfriend and we were supposed to meet some guys from a foreign ship. <laughs> yeah. And um, they didn't turn up. In New Brighton, there was a pier yeah. over the sea and at the end of it, was um, a pavilion, a building with a stage, and you could go up and sing. Okay. So I get up and sing, and I still remember the song. And my husband, to then, be. Um, husband to be, to be, yeah, was standing in the corner, and he was so gorgeous. And he came over, and he, um, there was a seat at the table. He said. Um, do you mind if I sit here? And I went. <laughs> and my friend Dorothy. Yeah. She said, yes, certainly. So I went. I was cold. Playing very hard to get. Oh, okay. Very hard to get. I remember he was quite tanned, mm -hmm. moustache. In those days, that was handsome, but these days, not, not in those days, handsome. Yeah. And he wore green, a pale green shirt and green 
slacks and he was right, you know, cool. He was cool, but when I when I sang, he fell in love with me. Aww. And he asked me where I lived, and it was 200 yards from where he lived. Took me home on the bus because there was no cars. We didn't have cars. He lived in Wycliffe Street, and I lived on the Old Chester Road. It's all gone now. And so it went on from there. I was attracted by his looks mm -hmm. to begin with. But then he revealed his true character, which is, he was very caring. He, he, he was lovely, a lovely, lovely man. How old were you? I wanted to know how old you were when you met me, Grandpa. I was 19. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Young love, young love. What's the secret to looking young? We've, okay, you, we have Jeans. One, jeans. You... Darling, can I have another wine, sweetheart? <laughs> Oh, she, she, my granddaughter looks after me beautifully. I, I, I'm not an alcoholic, but I'm enjoying this so much. It's uh, reminiscing. Okay, uh, this is from my friend, my best friend who I used to live with. A he, girl or a boy? boy? A boy, yeah. His name is Prozzy, and he asks, do you have any embarrassing stories from Alan's childhood? <laughs> well, we just moved into this uh, lovely, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. Bungalow. My husband and I, we struggled through life because we didn't have much money. Um, I worked for different things and my husband worked. When he left the Navy, as soon as we got married, because he didn't want anyone else to run off with me. So we moved into this bungalow and we had a friend of your, your dad's builder to build his glass doors out onto the garden and you, when you're little, I don't know how small you were, a running jump, bang, <laughs> right into the glass. <laughs> so, oh my God. You, you, I still you, remember you. it. I think I was maybe seven or six or yeah, seven years old. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is from my good friend Dory. Dory says, uh, which period of time in her life does she like the most? Having my children. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's all the questions. Uh, oh. You can, it's your turn now. Do you have a question that you'd like to ask them or what, what would you like to tell these people to? I, I'd like to know more about your life, mm -hmm. uh, who you see. Yeah. Um, I know you don't see William very often. Yeah. I'm a little bit sad that I, I don't see my great-grandson. Yeah. But that's life and I accept it. As, as long as Alan, uh, my grandson, keeps my memory alive, yeah. maybe with photographs, yeah. um, I'll, 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 be, I'll be quite happy. Final question. Anything in your life you would have changed in the past 90 years? Yes, that... lots. Oh, crikey. Okay. Thousands of things. Yes. So, just what I was expecting, uh, no regrets, I wouldn't change anything answer. My nan surprised me with an answer like this. And her answers maybe are suitable for another video in future, but as for now, I'll leave you with my nan's advice that she left us with in the last video. Be safe. Mm -hmm. Be happy. Mm -hmm. Look after each other. Love each other. Mm -hmm. Take the notice of bloody politicians. <laughs>